Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to create Salesforce dashboards. The first thing is you have to create the reports in Salesforce. That's the biggest thing. You have to create the report first and then you add that report to the dashboard. And again, you can you know comprise one dashboard of multiple reports. So first things first, let's go ahead and create the dashboard. So as you can see, I'm in our dashboard section. On the right hand side, I'm just gonna click new dashboard and we're gonna give it a name. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in a, a public folder. So if I select folder, public report, that's what I'm gonna put it in, and then select folder, click create. So now we have our dashboard. So in the top right hand corner, we have this giant button that says component. This actually should say report because this probably throws a lot of people off. So you'll click into that. And then it has the one that we just created. Stefan closed one op ops by month. So we'll select it. And then another cool thing I like about this before you add the report, Salesforce gives you some options. So we can either, you know, just choose a, a, a different type of report display instead of the donut one that I saved the report as. So as you can see, I can click into the bar, I can you know change this to the funnel one, maybe even this gauge one. Again, just depends on the type of reporting that you're doing for you to get the most use out of it. Or you can just click this checkbox that says use chart settings from the report, which essentially is saying reflect the way that report was saved on the dashboard. And as you can see, it chooses that, that donut chart. Scrolling down, you have a bunch of other options for this as well. Of course, you can't change them because I have the use chart settings from export selected. But if I unselect it, then you have everything available to make those changes. But we'll go back, scroll down. You have a couple of neat features. You can you can leave it as the default dashboard, like the light. But nowadays, you know, everything's going you know dark. So I'll select it as dark, click OK. And now we've added a report to this dashboard, right? And you can see all this extra room on the dashboard. So I can have several reports, all reporting on different types of things for this one dashboard. So if I select save and let's click done, and then now we have our dashboard and you can choose to subscribe to the dashboard as well. So if I click subscribe, you can choose when you wanna be notified whenever that dashboard has refreshed. So you can choose the frequency, maybe you know receiving you know an email on a daily basis that contains information on the dashboard, or a weekly or a monthly basis. Go ahead and you know choose how you want to be notified and how often as well. So if I click save, you can see I just subscribed to this dashboard. So I hope this was of help. If you guys have any questions, remember to always feel free to reach out to us and see if we can be of any assistance. All right, have a good day.